Good afternoon everybody hope you are all well and you're having a good year so far so obviously on Wednesday we had our first dojo which was really really awesome and uh, I just thought I'd share with you some of the bits that we covered we, we covered quite a lot of things but obviously I'm not going to share with you everything that, that we did in in that particular dojo unless you join um, however um, the dojo takes place on a Zoom video conference and with that um, video conference what we tend to do is we have all the businesses log in and we share the screen and we all sort of discuss and, and talk about uh, best business practices and, and the things of how to grow, the, grow your business. So one of the things we talked about was discipline and top 10 tips into the new year. Now some of you would have already done this, some of this would be implementing this within your business. But what we discussed was uh, discipline, discipline, discipline. So we said, uh, what does your daily, weekly and monthly uh, schedule look like? Um, and the period of time between the idea and the money will determine the success of the project. Now, speed is currency, time is money. Um, and we looked at your personal and your business schedules uh, and how you can improve these. Uh, uh, so maybe you wake up earlier, maybe uh, you go to bed later. One of the sayings that I quite like, and I actually have this in, in my man cave at home, is uh, you can sleep when you're dead. Now obviously you do need to get some sleep, um, but obviously you know business never finishes or, or, or never stops. So one of the things that we discussed in the dojo, and I'm just going to go through these top 10, was revisit your business plan. So if you have a business plan currently, does your visit business plan, um, is it in your head or have you written it down? And if you haven't written it down, um, does it align with your current goals? Um, so if your business plan, you know, make sure it, it aligns with your current vision. So if you want to 100 times your business or 10x your business, you would look at this particular plan and go, how, how does that, that work? So I was at a conference probably about mm, two years ago that I was invited to by HSBC. And it was how entrepreneurs who have built, gone from zero to 40 million in sort of two, three years, what they did. And, and what they did was they did an exercise of 100 times their business. So if their business was 100 times the size it is now, what would it look like? And we'd say here, uh, who would you be working with? Uh, how many people would you need to employ? What departments would you need to create? Uh, and what would your team need to deliver for this to happen? And how much money would you want to make as a business? So if you were to 100 times your business, you wouldn't need to necessarily 100 times the people, you would just 100 times the, the business and its turnover. And remember to change the bottom line, you increase the, the top line. So it's important to join everything up and, and, and the delivery. So it's just an exercise. Uh, so revisit your business plan uh, and just make sure that it aligns with your current vision and your current destination. Uh, now, a lot of you will be setting New Year's resolutions and setting different goals um, personally, but as well as personal goals, it is worth outlining what you want uh, from and for uh, your business in the coming 12 months. So be disciplined. So make sure that you are disciplined in your business. Uh, last year we went over to uh, Miami and obviously we're going to again to Miami in February and we went to Grant Cardone's offices and they're extremely disciplined. And, and the most successful businesses are disciplined and have that, that element of discipline within, within them. So be disciplined, be specific 
um, on what those re resolutions are going to be that you're going to set uh, and, and then you can measure these particular results. So remember I said a minute ago you, to change the bottom line you need to increase your top line. So what are the disciplines that you're going to have in your business now? It might be scheduling meetings, it might be um, particular targets that you're going to set, are they, are they clear? Uh, so set, set your business new year resolution. Uh, number three, fill in and build your calendar. So this is an interesting one where you can start off by putting all your holidays in. That way you've got something to look forward to and you can also know your team's holidays and how many people are going on holiday where. But additional to this, um, you can put in holidays or events that you might be going to, that you might be attending, so that you can schedule seasonal campaigns, uh, conferences maybe that you're going to attend to to make sure you have the right material. Uh, and this will give you ample time to implement your social media um, updates, your blog posts, uh, articles and your advertising campaigns. Uh, you can build promotions for all of these. That's another reason to, to fill in your calendar. Uh, and make sure you have enough business cards or hand out those business cards if you're going to an event. Uh, and make sure you put the cards on every table or if you're networking, um, certainly link in with everyone. Uh, and, and, and that's what we have at the, at the base here, you know, link in with everyone and connect with everyone because your network is also your net worth. The more people you know, the more people you have in business, you know, how can they help you? How can you further your business? Can you share contact? Would you recommend? So, so network and, and connect in with everyone, but particularly on LinkedIn. And there's a really cool um, LinkedIn uh, tip that you can do that I learned at a conference earlier on in the, on the year last year, which is really cool, and I'll share that another time. Number four, considering your hiring needs. So if your business is getting too busy for you to run uh, with a skeleton crew, start planning your hiring strategy for maybe 2020 or again in this year. Now, some of you would have done this and you would have done all of this, what I'm about to go through earlier on or towards the end of last year. Some of you are still thinking about it as you come in next year. So consider temps, uh, freelancers, virtual assistants, um, part-timers as an alternative to full-time employees, um, and especially if your budget is tight. So remember we said before, 10 pound, 100 pound jobs, you shouldn't be doing the 10 pound, 100 pound jobs, especially if it's your business. Uh, and refresh your job descriptions for everybody. So obviously over time, businesses and roles change so ask your team members to write down what they believe their job description is what they do uh, and particularly in all, all like high performers and everybody within your business because that will then make it clear on what you would need if you were to scale up so you don't have to do all those job descriptions um, and you can make sure that what you're looking for matches what your team currently do Number five, invest in technology. So this one is quite an interesting one. Um, now, depending on when your year end is, some people's year end is obviously December, some people's is April, it all varies. But if you've been putting off that computer software purchase or the computer purchase, you know, that's the time to, to go ahead and do it because the more efficient you are, um, if you have a computer that doesn't take an hour to load, so let's say you've got an old computer. If your computer takes 10 minutes to load, or your team have a computer that takes 10 minutes to load, times that by the number of people in your organization, that suddenly becomes a lot of minutes per week. 42 working weeks in a year on a normal calendar, um, that would be 10 minutes times five days, that's 50 minutes. So if you have a slow system, that's 50 minutes, one hour just for turning it on. And the systems, the processes, the software, everything that you have, make sure that it's um, it's fast, it's optimized, um, and it's efficient. Old systems cost money. So invest in new systems, uh, and then your your team, obviously make sure you've got the right tools for the job. So, so invest in technology. Technology is obviously really important in a lot of businesses. Number six, create a conference plan. So this one, uh, attending conferences and or industry trade shows, uh, which ones are you gonna attend? Um, what do you want to get out of that event or conference? Uh, and not only will you be meeting others in your field, um, potential customers, you'll also learn from the experts. And if you're an expert in your particular field, then you should be talking at these events. So I talk at numerous events, um, colleges, universities, and, and, and various conferences. So be the expert in your field uh, and push yourself to speak at these events if possible. So create a conference plan, what ones you're going to attend this year and what you're going to get out of it. Okay, reassess your brand. The brand is king, okay? And this brand isn't just your business brand, it can also be your own personal brand. You know, do a Google on yourself. 
does your profile picture, is that up to date, is that current? Um, is your business brand positioning correct and update and current? So um, maybe it's time for a new headshot, maybe it's time for a website refresh. Remember with the omnipresence to be everywhere and think smarter, so you need to make sure that your brand represents the quality and the values that you've put within the business. Um, what worked for you last year, do more of the same. Uh, so it's a great time to look at your online strategy, um, identify the tools that helped you last year, uh, cut back on those that didn't. Um, but brand consistency is also important. So um, brand evolution is equally important to evolve the brand, but consistency is, is important here. So um, what we said before, best known product always beats best product. So be everywhere, make sure your branding is on point. If your branding isn't and you need some help with it, I can introduce you to some of the team at RJDM and, and Ben Fraser, who's our creative director, I can introduce you to him and he can help you on the branding, whether that's be for your business or whether that be for you individually. Uh, number eight, get organized. So, um, you think? get rid of the clutter, you know, get rid of the clutter on your desktop, in your office uh, and in your life. Uh, if, it, if it doesn't make you money, get rid of it. So if you have anything that is, a, if it's messy, if it's not making money, sell it, get it on eBay, get rid of it. Um, just declutter uh, your, your life, declutter your office, everything like that. So we've changed all the studio around. We're going to be changing it again because we're constantly improving and constantly getting better. But, but you'll see this set up and then the background will be changing. Um, ask your team to help you in, in assisting this. Um, spend a few hours throwing away, shredding things that uh, you don't need. Um, organize your computer and implement a watertight filing structure and get your teams to help. Now, I'm quite chaotic in the way that um, I can be uh, messy and I will do all these different things, but we will be able to find within the studio, within the companies, whatever we're looking for within 30 seconds. If you cannot find what you're looking for within 30 seconds, you are not organized. So if um, any of your team can't find that, then have a look at what does your filing structure look like going forward for the year and could anyone in your team find a particular video product contract whatever it might be can they find it within 30 seconds we use a program called confluence confluence what confluence does is it allows us to document everything in the company and all the systems so that whenever we're writing a server update or any new thing it goes into there so anyone can find anything and then in production we have quite a tight um, filing structure. So that's what we set into place. So my question would be, if you were to um, ask anyone in your team to find a particular file, can they find it within 30 seconds? Or could you find it within 30 seconds? And if the answer to that question is no, then you need to obviously uh, have a look at that. Uh, time is money and I guarantee you'll feel a lot better by suddenly getting organised. Uh, number nine, refresh your team skills. So um, if you do have a team, uh, it's a fantastic time to supplement training uh, or set the training standards for the year. So um, for us, when we do the dojo and the training material that we produce for Success Leaves Clues, we implement that training to the management team and the teams at RJDM and, and, and Team House Points. Um, so maybe uh, your team aren't using or aren't aware of your customer relationship management tool. So maybe that's a good idea or a good time to share and show them how to use that particular system. As we said before, we, we use one page CRM as one of the systems that, that, that we use um, and teach and give a basic understanding to your team on P&L. You know, what is gross profit? What is net profit? What is net net profit? You know, educating your team, you cannot, if you educate yourself and your team, you cannot take that away from you. So it's really important. Um, you don't need to go into great detail, but understanding budgets uh, and numbers is important throughout your business. So it's not just important for the business owners to understand the budgets, it's important for your teams to understand those budgets and work to them. Uh, give everyone basic um, or advanced sales training. Everyone in your business should be able to sell uh, and have a process at least in place to understand what your sales process is. Does everybody in your business know that? If they don't, why not? And, and what does that look like? And then the last one that I put in these top 10 was get smarter. Uh, your team aren't the only ones who need to learn more. You do yourself. So there's no right or wrong. There's different. I mean, I have uh, two, three mentors myself, but 
read more industry blogs, read books, read magazines. Um, maybe set yourself that you're going to listen to an audio book once a month. There's a great audio book on culture, um, which is called Powerful by Patty McCord, uh, who wrote The Culture Deck for Netflix. That's a really, really good book. And that was one of the books that helped inspire TeamHousePoints.com. But that's a good book. So for yourself, for your team, start listening to audio books. What could they be? Who Moved My Cheese is a really good one. We discussed that earlier on and that um, a couple of months ago, actually. And that's about an hour and 20 minutes. So sometimes some of these audio books, some of these things might be good to just plan and play for your team to listen to. Uh, If you don't have a team, uh, document what you find useful, what books you found useful, what articles you found useful. So later as you grow your teams, you can actually signpost people to what is is useful in that particular area. Uh, And then you can look back Um, look back later and the other thing is is if you have a business you're wanting to create leaders in your business so the information like leaders eat less and all these types of things the success leaves clues all the success stuff pull together in one place so you can also share the knowledge Um, and look at if you've been to conferences last year look back at your past notes Um, look at uh, what you have and have not completed because you'll actually be really surprised on what you have done and what you haven't done so it's always worth looking back at your notes to see what you've what you've done Um, So that was like the top 10 that we talked about in the dojo. Um, Obviously, if you would like to go through the whole part of the dojo or see access to all the other things that we've been doing, then sign up to the dojo and that will give you access to the closed Facebook group. And it will also give you access to the previous dojo videos and content. So you'll then be able to take the one thing from all of those and apply them within your business. Um, This was me just testing out the new camera to see how it is working and in this setup in the studio. Over the coming weeks, we're going to have a number of interviews with different business leaders, um, people who have made multi-million pound companies and been extremely successful in their area of business. So that will be happening. Um, We're going to be interviewing uh, some directors who have done films and an array of of things, really. So really looking forward to share that with you over the coming weeks and be introducing you to Paul Thurland, the managing director of RJDM, who's going to talk about what RJDM is doing in this coming year and Ben Fraser, who is our creative director, to talk about what Team Housepoint is doing and how that's going to work. So have an awesome weekend, everybody. Hope you are all um, doing something cool and spending a lot of time with your family because you know, enjoying time with your family is really important. Life memory hooks uh, and all that. And um, uh, yeah, so we're going to have more and more shows that are going to be coming along. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.